Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are touring this incredible restored chapel. It's on the market for seven and a half million with Chestertons. Let's go in and show you guys around. So starting off in the entrance, we've got the original sandstone and restored timber doors. These are double doors. We've got lovely features on the door handles as well. And they're the original doors, aren't they? Yes. It's part of the planning commission to keep them. They look so nice being restored. Definitely, yes. And that's behind the camera, guys, at the start of the tour, and hey then we'll switch over. This is the entrance, and if you bring the camera forward, look how incredible this view is. So that's obviously the open plan living and kitchen area, which we'll show you more of. I'll just shut these doors and we'll take our shoes off. So there's a twin staircase, so you can either go down on the left or the right, but we'll come down this way. And these are stone tiles on the floor. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. They give it a nice character feeling, because although it's been restored and renovated throughout, they have kept obviously the history and the heritage of the property as well. They've kept features like this timber panelling, which reminds you of the chapel that it used to be. And we'll show you in detail the timber panelling across these walls to the left and right have names inscribed in the wall of the old principals of the Westfield College, because this development site where the properties are used to be a college for girls um, a long time ago so it's really cool to see obviously the history this property has. This is the main part of the house where we've got the living space, dining and kitchen and these ceiling heights are seven meters so it's pretty incredible and it's been interior designed really nicely and if you come over here so this is what I mentioned earlier about the principal's names being engraved into the timber. So this is the principal from 1919 to 1921. And obviously these books as well give it that historic vibe. So this is the open plan dining area. We've got an eight seater table and this insane brass chandelier. It's amazing, isn't it? Let me just pan up so we can see that in more detail. But <laughs> the process of fitting that must have been crazy. It's ginormous, if that's a word, I'm not sure. And this is the kitchen area. So just a little bit more about the property. It's grade two listed and is just over 4,000, I think 800 square feet. We'll yeah. put the details on the screen. And there's actually lots of amenities on the site. So there's lots of different properties on this site. This is obviously the chapel. There's a town car that goes into, I think, the middle of Hampstead, so you can just get in the car. Yeah, it's got like a one mile radius, I think, that yeah. it'll take you. That's cool. And there's also a gym, which we'll show you later in the video, and a spa with a swimming pool. And there's gardens all around the property. It's just a pretty insane place, isn't it? Yeah, and it's like you have this huge character building so yeah. close to um, being in the centre of London, but to have all those amenities as well, I think it's really nice. So yeah, we'll show you them yeah. later in the tour. So this kitchen has composite stone worktops and a borer hob with the extractor fan in the middle, um, as there's no extractor fan coming down from the top. Great, uh, great space for hosting this whole area, yeah. like, because it's all open. All of this, and it's below the mezzanine level, so we'll show you above us um, in a second. We've got over here Miele appliances, we've got the ovens and a coffee maker and cupboards throughout. I love when the interior design has been done throughout and they also yes. interior design even inside the cupboards. Yeah. There's everything, like no detail. Yeah, look here, they've missed. got, I think this is fake bread. Yeah. yeah, it's fake bread, but things like having a cookbook out. Looks really good, and especially in a space this big, yeah. um, just having the furnishings here, you can really visualize it more as a home. Exactly, and I think this is the freezer. Yeah, yep. full high Miele freezer. Miele fridge and freezer. Oh, there's even things in the fridge. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's really cool to see inside a chapel. What do you guys think? Would you want to live in a chapel? To this side of the room, they put a bar 
kind of table with lovely velvet chairs. Again, we've got the principal's names on the back. And the flooring is dark stained engineered timber flooring in chevron style. So really suits the chapel kind of feel, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. Right, now let's head through to a snug cinema room space. So there are the stairs for the mezzanine level. We'll show you that in a second. And this is a cool room. It's quite dark in here. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up. Yeah, I can see you. But look how big this bespoke sofa is fitted custom to this circular wall. And this is all designed so you can watch the yeah. 84 inch? 84 inch projector screen here. And there's also curtains as well. Yeah, this is cool. And this also has the wood flooring. Yeah. Really nice quality doors. And it just feels like a really nice cozy space in here. Yeah, so we have steps up to the sofa and the indents in the wall with LED lighting down on the features. Can you yeah. see that on the... I'll come up close. So you can see they look really nice. And then that's the projector in the middle. Yeah. And that's for the, the projector screen. screen. And you also got, I draw those curtains. So you've got curtains to close it off and then open it back up when it's movie time. So you've got entry into this room from the left and the right. What's so behind that door, just behind you? I'm not sure, actually. That could be the understair storage. Oh yes, the storage space. Yeah, I'll let you come in with the camera. Yeah, yeah just the storage space. Not much to see there. And there's a cooling system in the living and main reception area and also the master bedroom or principal bedroom as we're supposed to say now. So on the hot summer's days that we sometimes have in England, mm. not many, but got the cooling system. Here is the downstairs bathroom. We've got marble on the vanity and I believe these are porcelain tiles. Light gray with the white really works. And all the sinks are Villaroy and Bosch, I think yeah, it's that's pronounced. Right. Check out these lights as well on the wall. I've never seen anything like that before. Cool, aren't they? They go yeah. all the way around and they just have like a glow effect on the ceiling. Very subtle. Oh, nice. There's plants as well throughout the property. This space is huge. I'm just looking at the screen yeah. now and you can just see how open this is. And the ceiling heights, as you said earlier, seven meters. Yeah. And they've put rugs under each kind of table. So on there, behind you there and here. So you've got that feel of hard flooring separated by these rugs. But yeah, I love the interior design as well. We'll put the interior designer's name on the screen so you can go and check them out if you're into interior design. So now Matt is gonna show you the mezzanine level and the bedrooms. So I'll go behind the camera now. Yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video and check out our other luxury property tours if you wanna see inside more luxury homes. Hey guys, so welcome to the next part of the tour. So we're starting on the mezzanine level. Now this is completely new, so it's not part of the original property, but I think the way it's been built really complements the rest of the property with the grade two listed design and everything throughout as well. Now just remember guys, I know Summer mentioned at the start, but this property is listed with Chestertons. We're not agents ourselves, so we're just property vloggers. So if there's any more information you want about this property, make sure to contact them. We'll uh, link their details in the description below. So taking a look at this area, we have a lounge seating area just here that it's currently laid out as. Really nice spot to just kind of sit down, enjoy the open space across there. You have a glass balustrade in front here with kind of like a gold brass detail on the top that looks really nice. And you just, yeah, you get a better look at this light. The chandelier looks incredible. Here as well, you can start to see some better detail of the original building, like the details on the ceiling, as well as the lead framed windows, the original windows around the side as well. And they go all the way throughout the property. So there is still loads and loads of light coming in because you've got a lot of windows. So that works well. So moving around to this side of the mezzanine, we have what's currently set out as an office space. So you've got two large chairs here facing the desk and you've kind of got a curved wall coming around here where the desk is. What a great place to sit and enjoy the whole view of the open plan area, the light fittings, all the natural light and everything coming in. So you could pretty much do whatever you want up here. Like you could have a huge grand piano, um, a space up here, 
here, maybe even put a bit of a bar, like it's open to you guys. So maybe let us know in the comments what you would do with this area, if you'd keep it the way it is, or if you change it, and if you would, what you'd use it for. So moving on now. So there are a few ways you can get into the outdoor areas of this property. So we're gonna go through this door just here. So this is one of the outdoor areas of the property. Now all of the bedrooms apart from one have their own outdoor area. And if you want a larger space to enjoy the outside, the uh, communal areas have a huge garden lawn dairy up there, which we'll show you in a minute. But really the outdoor space here um, is kind of low maintenance, this patio style. So you've got another door that you can go back through. So let's head back through here and carry on the tour. So we're gonna head over to the other side of the property now and see the master bedroom. The master bedroom is the only bedroom that's on the ground floor. So let's go show you that now. So this whole area that we're about to go into next, which has all of the bedrooms, is actually an extension. So this is all the original chapel that we've obviously toured you and Summer showed you around at the start. And then we're actually gonna show you the extension now, but it still has that character feel. Okay, so we're into the extension area there. You can see the stone staircase, the spiral staircase that leads all the way up. But first, let's look in the master bedroom. Really nice quality doors I've found throughout this whole property. So, as you come into the master bedroom, you first go into a dressing area and that kind of leads you through to the bedroom. So you've got a combination of bespoke fitted cabinetry and built-in wardrobes and everything here as well. They have a combination of shelving and hanging rails, LED lighting inside, and at the top here, you've kind of got like a leather effect detail, again with gold on the front, and they actually open up and you've got loads of storage space in those as well. And then across this side, you've got a makeup station kind of makeup table it has a led backlit mirror which looks really nice and it's kind of tinted as well and then this is all nice wood finish you've got three drawers each side and a large chair in the middle here on the floor you actually got carpet inset into the stone floor and that just gives it that feeling that leads you through into the space so this is the master bedroom. We've got a large double bed, two bedside units each side. Really interesting texture wallpaper. This side, you can start to see into the outdoor area of this bedroom. I'll show you that better through here. So you've got a door out here from the bedroom. It's kind of like having a large balcony on the property. So you've got like a sun lounger chair there and a seated chair. And again, glass balustrade all the way around. So just like a private area for the property. Now let's head back inside and look at the ensuite. So coming into the ensuite on the right, first of all, we have this freestanding bath with a black framework around the outside as well, stone on the floor, and we've also got black taps and you'll see the same black taps on the dual sink area over here this is all marble you've got a really nice two-tone marble effect with the white marble at the top and then the dark marble throughout here as well and then the shower which is this side also has marble fitted all the way around so it's kind of like a wet room you've got the toilet there as well um, yeah large shower black handles, um, black fittings and fixtures and everything as well. But it's a really big room. Like you've got uh, quite a long rectangle room, decent size. So yeah, it works well with the master suite area. So let's head upstairs and I'll show you the rest of the bedrooms. So just before we do that, on the right of me here, we have a utility space for the property. So just to get your bearings before I show you that, this is the door where we came in from the original property. So you wouldn't have to access through the master bedroom to get to this. So you come through this door and then this side is the utility space. So in here, You've got your Miele appliances set here, washing machine and dryer, and then some wooden cabinetry throughout as well with lots of storage space. And then you've got your sink and everything built in there. So these stairs on the right are gonna take us to the first floor. You've got glass balustrade here, stone staircase with a wood timber handrail that leads you all the way up with these spotlights below as well. And one of the most amazing things about this space is the huge circular skylight on the top 
So this lets in so much light to this whole area and this has been custom built into the extension just to provide this space with a lot more lighting. Okay, we're up on the first floor now. So we're gonna head into bedroom two first of all, which has got a really cool feature because you actually go down some stairs. So I'll show you down into the bedroom in one moment, but across here firstly, we've got a built-in wardrobe here again as well, shelving and hanging rails. And then across here is the ensuite. So we have a large shower, again with marble on the back wall. And then we have Vilroy and Bosch sink here with white marble design as well. Okay, so heading downstairs now into the bedroom. We've got a four poster bed. Uh, large double bed, um, cool wallpaper throughout as well. And one of the nicest features about this room is it's got its own private entry. So instead of coming through there, you could actually go out this door here. This takes you onto your own patio area out the front. And you can see this is a really large outdoor space for the bedroom. And then you've also got a uh, gate through there. And if you can recognize the front, that's the front of the property. So you could come through that gate into this space and you could access this bedroom privately and independently without having to go through the main house. So ideal for when you have guests. So we're gonna head back up the stairs now into the next two bedrooms. You'll see as part of this extension, they've got glass stretching all the way from the bedroom down there that I just showed you all the way to the end and that actually connects the extension with the original building and that again makes this whole space really really bright so the first though the next bedroom that i'm going to show you is currently set out as a child's bedroom so you've got a single bed just there across to the left of me you've got a large wardrobe space it hasn't got fitted wardrobes like the other properties so maybe that's more ideal for like having toys and stuff and then this side you've got an ensuite in this room as well which also has a nice size shower white marble and other marble in the shower as well Okay, so this is the next bedroom that I'm gonna show you. So in here as well, you've got a built-in wardrobe space just here. That again has the same hanging rails, shelving, and then a big cupboard at the top. Behind me is the ensuite of this room. And so this ensuite actually has a bath fitted as well with a marble detail all the way around the outside and then the same sink white marble design as the other bedroom. So as I mentioned, all of these bedrooms, apart from the one I just showed you, have outdoor space. So this bedroom has a balcony just here. So again, just a nice space for this room to be able to enjoy the outside. So that's pretty much a tour of inside the house. Now there's still so much to show you with all of the amenities that come with this property. So make sure to keep watching and we'll go show you them now. Okay, so we are in the spa at the moment and I'm just gonna show you the pool. So this is the pool, which is insane. You've got a sauna over here, a steam room. It's so hot down here. <laughs> and a jacuzzi back here. Let's go for a swim. But really nice luxury feel throughout. And then there's also a shower. There's also a gym in the uh, spa center. So I'll quickly go show you that now. This is all the lockers and there's nice bathrooms and changing rooms. So this is the gym through here. Won't go in there because there's people training at the moment. But a good sized gym, got a variety of equipment and it's for all the residents. So yeah, handy to have that on your doorstep. And this is the little lobby area where there's a lift and stairs. So guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed the tour, make sure to hit like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Never seen you clearer than now We're flying high Floating somewhere up in the clouds We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't